Yo, what's going on, guys? It's me, Glitch Games, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, we're going to be covering Multiverse Inventories. Now, Multiverse Inventories is an amazing plugin which actually separates all your inventories up into different worlds. So, every single world, you can have a different inventory. But now, by default, when you're installing this plugin, every single world will have their own inventory. But you can actually set up groups and have all, like, uh, you could have three worlds in a group. So, say, Skyblock Spawn, Skyblock, and Skyblock Nether all share uh, the same inventory and then you could have uh, the hub world which is this world have a different inventory and then you can also have S hunger games world have a different inventory bed wars world have a different inventory factions world have a different inventory build battle keep pvp everything out of a different inventory and you can do that with groups spawns for each one it's actually quite an amazing plugin guys this plugin does work on uh, all versions i do believe it's only uh, actually registered in for one point 12 and above uh or sorry uh 1.12 and below uh but i have tested this on uh 1.13 1.14 and 1.15 and it has worked flawlessly for me so uh that's quite amazing guys now guys this video was actually suggested uh by some people in the comment section so the first person was yevanajik exotic who was having a problem uh where they were asking how they can have different worlds for their spawn world their skyblock world and their factions world and i basically answered to them they should use this plugin um i use it on my server and it works flawlessly um and i said that i was also going to be doing a video on it and then we also had another person uh, earlier on asking uh about it uh the person uh the noob duo was also asking about how to do quite a similar thing and i told them this plugin as well so uh it seems that people are trying to do this but don't know how to do it so this tutorial is for you if you want to do this and don't know how so what you got to start off is downloading the plugin down in the description now if you're downloading this plugin this plugin actually does require multiverse but assuming that you're doing this you probably already have multiverse installed onto your server which multiverse is uh basically it's the plugin that manages all your worlds for most people if they're running a multiverse server um i'm breaking my spawn today's video is sponsored by Sengoda. Sengoda is a new and unique marketplace where you can easily find hundreds of high quality free and paid custom plugins to improve your overall Minecraft server experience. With the help of community and developer feedback, Sengoda is constantly working to improve the overall user experience. Sengoda features both their own plugins and plugins from developers you already know and love. Don't want to take my word for it? Well, why not listen to all the happy, satisfied customers? Link to the Sagoda Marketplace will be in the description, so why not give it a try? Okay, guys, so to get started off, you're going to want to do slash MV inf. Okay, so when we type in slash NV group, we'll be greeted with this lovely thing. So we'll say, what would you like to do? Create, edit, delete, or enter hashtag, hashtag at any time to cancel. So what we're actually going to do here is we're going to edit. Which group would you like to edit? You'll type in default. And here you can see which would you like to change for default? Worlds or shares? And we're going to do worlds. And then you'll say enter the name of the world you want to add to the group or at, or enter at to continue and then blah, blah, blah. So the current worlds is that. So if we add uh, Blood Moon, which is one of my worlds... Yes, it is. Let me double check. It's called Blood Moon. Oh, it's Blood underscore Moon. Whoops. So if we add this world, we say enter. Okay. And now we've added the world. Now we have Blood Moon, World, World, the end. Uh, and that's all in that default group. Now we can actually, uh, if we do slash, if we do the same command we done before, now again, the group command. Actually, I think we have to type hashtag, hashtag first, guys. Whenever you're cancelling out this, you press hashtag, hashtag. And now, we'll be greeted with this again. And I would like to create this time. I'm going to create a group. So, what we're going to do is we're going to name our new group Skyblock. And then, what we're going to do is um, current worlds is nothing. So, we want to add a world. So, we're going to do world name. And that's going to be... Um, Sky Block Hub. I think that's what it's called. There is no. Oh my god. I'm bad at this. It's called Sky Block Spawn. I'm really bad at this. Probably should have written all this down. 
Okay. And now you see that we've added Skyblock spawn to the group. So if we actually do slash U regions and just double check the names of these, we've got Iridium Skyblock Nether and Iridium Skyblock just normal. So if we, oh my God, this is this is gonna be a hard one. Hang on, I might have to like write down how this is spelt. Okay, I've written down how it's spelt. Now we can actually put it into the chat. So it's gonna be I R I D I U M Skyblock underscore Nether, and then we add that, and then we also do Iridium Skyblock. So they're my Skyblock worlds, and then we've also got Skyblock spawn. So they'll be sharing an inventory. Now, if it says at to continue, let's see what happens now. So what we can do now is enter all or specific share to add to the group. So, so what we can actually do is put in a share. So for example, we can put in inventory as the share. So there are many different shares that you can actually do. And um, that means that now we have inventory contents, armor contents, ender chest, and offhand. Now, and that's the inventory share. Now we can also type all to put in all shares. And that's actually all the shares right there. Inventory contents, armor contents, ender chest, offhand, hit points, economy, and etc. Now, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to just... Um, and to remove shares, you can do minus. So, if I do minus all, that means that we'll have no shares. Now, I'm going to do inventory, and then we've got the inventory shares. So, that's how you do that. And now, we can do at to continue. And we'll say, yes, we've created the new group. Okay, guys, so now that we've set up the group, we can actually come over to our spawn world, and this is in a different... So, this is our spawn world. This is in the Skyblock group, and uh, I'm going to grab some items into my inventory. Now, guys, uh, I did actually notice when I was me messing with this, uh, you actually have to reload the plugin with this comma... Where is it? Where is it? There you go. You have to do MV in reload for the effects to come in place, which... Um, basically, it makes sense. So now I've got these items and I'm going to go into the Skyblock spawn world. And you'll see that I have no items in my inventory. Now if I grab some items, uh, we'll go boom, boom, boom. Grab just some random items. And then we have to do slash IS. And this is a different world, by the way. We have those items still. Now if we actually go and create... Whoops. Uh, if we actually go and create... So if we get some uh, obsidian and a flint and steel and we create a portal and we create a portal, we'll actually see that when we go into our skyblock nether world, we still have those blocks. But then if we do slash spawn, Oh, I was really confused there. Okay, if we do slash hub, that's a different plugin as well that we can go over. We have all of the blocks that we grabbed from here. See, the carpet blocks. We have the, uh, what did we get? We got this. And we got all of these blocks from here. And then if we do slash is once again, go back to our island. Boom. And we have this inventory once again. So that's kind of how that plugin works. You can do it with all sorts of different groups and inventories. You can put in all sorts of different separate things. And this is actually also doable from the config. So you'll see in the config here, we have our, our groups. Then we have default. Um, and we'll have Skyblock. And then you've got Skyblock Spawn. Iridium Skyblock and another score Nether and Iridium Skyblock, which is my Skyblock plugin worlds. And then we have the shares, which is armor contents, ender chest, offhand, and inventory contents. So it'll share all of those things, and you can create these within the um you, you can create these within the config as well. Um but since they did actually add commands to this plugin, I do suggest using commands. Now, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a multi-world uh, cash plugin, so you can do multi-world economy. Uh, because for me, I have noticed that uh, the economy, like the like, you have economy shares on this plugin, but they don't work. Not for me, anyways. Next Tuesday, that will be so the next plugin video you will see will be multi-world.
money um so go make sure you guys go check that video out when it comes out i hope you enjoyed today's youtube video smash the like button and subscribe i've said that enough times guys if you haven't subscribed already i don't know what you're doing because you don't want to miss out on two plug-in tutorials a week uh bye have a great time see ya au revoir bye